kitchen stalker. <laughs> hey, Lily. I think she's saying, hey, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well out there. Today I am making a um, squash and zucchini lasagna. Um, it's a pastelous lasagna, so it's, um, it's low sugar and low carb. Delicious, very delicious meal. So I'm going to start by frying some hamburger meat and also frying a little bit extra over there for Lily because <laughs> she's going to want some and I want to give it to her without all the spices and stuff in it. So I'm just going to brown off my hamburger meat here, get that good and done. Mm, it smells good already. I wish y'all could smell it. I've already put my spices on there and the spices I'm using are um, some cilantro, some ground turmeric, some steak seasoning, some Kingsford um, garlic, and I put some red peppers on there too, <laughs> and some blackened seasoning, and some brown sugar uh, maple. Super, super good. Of course, you guys have, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love spices. I love to spice everything up a little bit. So I've already gone ahead and put the spices on there. And I've got some squash and some zucchini. I had to cut a couple of bad spots out of this one. I've had them in the refrigerator for a little while. Uh, so there's my hamburger. It's just about finished. Lily's hamburger is about finished. So I've gone ahead and sliced up my squash and zucchini. And I like to slice it in really thin little slices. and Because those are going to take the place of the lasagna noodles. Now you could cut them a little thicker if you wanted to, or you could even cut them a little thinner. And I've gone ahead and I've chopped up some uh, tomatoes here, some fresh tomatoes, and I'm going to make my own uh, fresh tomato sauce. I do have a video of that on my channel of me making my fresh, homemade, healthy, delicious tomato sauce. You can check that one out if you would like to. So I'm just going to put all these little wedgies in my little blender here. I'm just using my small blender today because I'm not making a big batch of it. So I'm just going to use my little blender there and I got it nice and full. Um, I do put a, just a little bit of water in the bottom of that. And of course I got to slice off a little piece to give to Lily. <laughs> there she is. She loves tomatoes. She loves cucumbers. She loves bell peppers. She loves all kinds of things. I don't give her a whole lot of any of it because it can upset their stomach a little bit but there she goes. <laughs> so I'm going to use that baby Ray, Sweet Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce. And I'm going to mix it in with my tomatoes. My, that stirred up really well. And you can put some spices in there if you wanted to. I put a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. So I'm using a meatloaf pan. And I went ahead and put my... I sprayed it with some olive oil. And then I just made a layer of the squash and zucchini and then I put a layer of hamburger meat and then another layer of squash and zucchini and I'm going to be using some uh, provolone cheese and mozzarella cheese and also some um, parmesan cheese I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on there really good you could use any kind of cheese that you want to so we're going to put another layer of hamburger meat on there we put the cheese on. The pepper and some salt and a little bit of um, steak seasoning. Then I put some more Parmesan cheese on there. And then I'm going to put another layer of the squash and zucchini. And then you just can just continue layering it from there. Um, and you could put um, cottage cheese or ricotta if you like that in your lasagna you could put that in there as well but i'm just going to put a little more mozzarella and provolone and then i'm going to cover it with foil and i'm going to set my oven to 375 set my oven to 375 stick it in the oven there and i'm going to cook it with the top on it for about 30 minutes just to get that squash good and done and then I'm going to take the lid off and cook it for a couple about 10 more minutes just to brown the cheese a little bit 
Also open in a can of corn to go with it. Corn goes really well with it. And um, I'm just using the whole kernel corn. And of course, as always, don't forget to mash your can. And to take care of them little critters out there. And there you have it. Just melt it a little bit on the top there. A little bit of brownness around the edges. And this is going to be absolutely delicious. So I cook it for about 40 five minutes or so total and that gets your squash and zucchini really done so there's my plate thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you'll try to make this recipe because it's very very good and um god bless you all and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching